80 feet, that's how far Josie Van Kirk fell at McConnell's Mill State Park over the weekend. Somehow, she survived that fall. And this evening, Amy Wattis spoke with Van Kirk in her hospital room. Amy joins us live from UPMC Presbyterian with her story. Amy. Susan, despite what Josie Van Kirk has been through, she still managed to keep a smile on her face and a positive attitude during her interview. She says she can't believe she is alive and on the mend here at UPMC Presbyterian. But I remember just like my leg just coming out from under me. And what happened after that is a story 21 year old Josie Van Kirk survived to tell. And then just like falling down and just like tumbling until I stopped. The fall happened Sunday afternoon at McConnell's Mill State Park. The Slippery Rock senior was hiking with some friends. Josie says she remembers watching her footing when they got to the area near Breakneck Ridge. And I guess I missed the spot, <laughs> hit the spot I didn't want to hit. Um, I think I might have slipped on some leaves or something. She says she tried to grab onto anything she could as she tumbled 80 feet down the ridge. I was terrified. I was, did not think um, I would make it. A friend called 911 and a bystander tried to calm her down until emergency responders got to the scene and flew her to the hospital. I have a fracture in my back, a fracture in my neck, and then two fractures in my pelvis. She also has several scrapes and bruises, but nothing that requires surgery. Josie's doctor says she's very lucky. Roughly, you know, 10% mortality or death rate per 10 feet that you fall. And so, you know, from 70 feet, we, you know, free fall, we'd expect 70% of patients to die from their injuries. And Josie wants to be very clear on what she wasn't doing before the fall. Not taking a selfie. I did not have my phone on me. My friend had in his pocket because I didn't want to lose it out of my leggings because they didn't have pockets. So um, I was not drinking or under any kind of influence. And Josie knows she has a long road to recovery. She will have to go through physical therapy, and doctors say she will likely have to stay off of her feet for a while. And, of course, we wish her the very best. Reporting live outside of UPMC Presbyterian in Oakland, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.